Hey, what's up, shitheads? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be taking a five star for a ride. But the purpose of this ride is to test out the new drivetrain I installed on this bike. Now, I may or may not have bent the Shimano turning derailleur. And when I was looking into repairing it, I decided, you know what? Why replace it with the same derailleur I already don't like? So I believe what I found to be the cheapest clutch derailleur available, and I converted this bike to an eight-speed setup using that clutch derailleur. Now I did this whole setup for just about $100, and today we're gonna be testing it out. Let me give you an up close and personal look at it. This is what a micro shift Acolyte derailleur here. And this is an eight-speed setup here, so I converted to an eight-speed free will problem you run into with these bikes is why there's not as many options available as these use a free will and if, i believe if you nine speed and up you're going to start using a cassette so these are not compatible with cassettes so you're pretty much stuck using a seven or eight speed with these bikes and the nice thing is this is an 11 by 36 tooth free will so while it's only two teeth bigger on the biggest gear if you do the math it actually works out to a five percent increase so this is a five percent lower big gear and here is the micro shift derailleur and you can turn the clutch on and off but what the clutch does is it keeps tension on the chain so when you're riding around and you're going over bumps and obstacles the chain won't slap around as much the derailleur was only 33 bucks free well was about about 40 bucks and the shifter was like 11 dollars. so this is a very affordable setup so we're going to be taking it for a ride today and see if it does in fact eliminate or significantly decrease the chain slap i'm not trying to single out the ecells five star because this shimano tourney derailleur comes on the lion's share of all e-bikes available so what do you say guys let's go test out this new derailleur come on guys let's go all right guys we are out on the uh, ESOS five star and first thing i noticed is i went off the curb and you notice that you don't hear any slap i'm gonna top off this curb here this curb again here and doing my research i could not find a single seven speed derailleur that uses a clutch setup this eight speed was like one of the only ones i found so you know there may be more available but uh this is what i found and this is what i'm trying and, and the install itself took me about I want to say about two hours and i'll put a link to all the parts i'm using but if you notice here there's not a whole lot of extra space available on the handlebar here so i was able to get it here working but it's a tight fit this is a trigger shifter and if you press it all the way down you can shift multiple down shift at a time and it's single up shift but it works pretty nice so let's go we're going over this bumpy area here I don't know if it's coming across in the video, but the chain makes a little bit of noise, but it's definitely decreased from what it was before. Ooh, some big rats here. So far it's working well. I was kind of uh, worried that the indexing on the free wheel wouldn't work with this shifter, but Everything seems to be compatible, and uh, I now have an eight-speed five-star with a lower low gear. So for a hundred bucks, I feel like this is a pretty nice upgrade. I'm not familiar with the brand Micro Shift, but it sounds like they've been around for a while. It doesn't sound like they're a top-end brand by any means, but uh, you know, anything is an upgrade from that Shimano Tourney derailleur. Hey, take your time, guys. I get paid by the hour. I did buy a new chain to use with this drivetrain, but the chain on this bike is massive. I got a 122 link chain and it wasn't long enough. So I ended up reusing the stock chain. And I did see a comment that somebody put on the Facebook group saying that they, uh, their mechanic removed his link from the chain and that got rid of a lot of the chain slap. I can tell you that is absolutely not the case because guess who else removed one link from their chain? That's right, I did. So I was riding around my bike with one link removed. I did two links, you know, it's actually ends up being four links. And uh, it was, there was not enough slack to get into the lowest gear. So you can only really remove one link. And that's what I did. And it didn't really change the uh, situation at all. So far, I am uh, definitely liking this upgrade. Um, I do miss that the Shimano shifter 
I do like how you can do, you can downshift pretty much all your gears in just one swoop. But look, at, it's such an eyesore. It's a big old dial here. And look at this one. You know, it's just like this nice low profile shifter here and it fits the whole motif of the bike so much better. And it's got a nice firm click to it. The only thing, like I said, is it's kind of a tight fit here. And when you want to shift to a harder, you know, upshift, it's a, uh, there's not much room. So I had to like get the shifter just right on there so I could actually actuate the upshift. But it's on there pretty good right now. Guys, this probably wasn't applied to everybody. You know, I've seen, if you've seen videos of how I ride around, I like to go down staircases and hit jumps and stuff like that. So chain slaps are more of an issue for me. But I feel like if you ride the way I do or similar to me, it's really going to be a nice upgrade to get a, ch a clutch derailleur on these bikes. And I hope at some point, I mean, Esos definitely listens to feedback. It'd be really nice if they offered drivetrain upgrades as well in the future. Do you hear that? Man, it's hard to relay this to you guys because I'm on the bike, but I'm noticing the sound, this bike is just so much quieter now. And you guys may have noticed as well, I removed the rack and fenders, which probably has some to do with the quietness, but this is how I typically ride these bikes. I have no rack and row fenders. And now I have a clutch derailleur. So this bike is super quiet. But yeah, it's like I'm the, I'm the stealth assassin here. Nobody can hear me coming anymore. You know, so far so good with this derailleur. I'll have to do a long-term update at some point. That's an electric bus. And here I'm all the way in the lowest 36 tooth gear. And uh, this hill is uh, easy work. This is one where I've noticed, uh, you know, with the previous setups, with the 34 tooth, it was so good. But with the 28 tooth on some other bikes, that hill was, I felt a little too steep where I had to like turn up the power assist level. So not only with this setup, you get a little extra low end gear. You also get, it's a more of a gradual ramp with the 11 by 34 tooth seven speed your one through six gears kind of gradually go up and then it's the big small gear on this one it's more of a linear progression let's see how fast we get going through here 28 29 30 baby and this bike is so quiet now all right guys we are back at the skate park to try the pool again what do you say? Yeah, right, just kidding. So I kind of want to demonstrate here how well this clutch on the derailleur works. And we're gonna do that by going down this, by this staircase here. Now I can actually turn on and off the de clutch on this derailleur. So we're gonna go down first with the clutch turned off and then we're gonna turn it on and see the difference. Now, I don't know if you guys will be able to tell from the video, but from me in person, I can tell a lot from the audible feedback, there's much less noise with the clutch on than when it's off. So I'm guessing we're gonna see that the chain is moving around quite a bit with the clutch off and uh, less with the clutch on. But we'll do an additional test when I'm a little bit closer to home. So here we are guys, this is gonna be a really good test because I have footage doing the same jump with the stock derailleur. And I'm gonna do this now. The first time I'm gonna do it with the clutch turned off and then we're gonna do it again with the clutch turned on. And then we'll do a final comparison and I'll go ahead and wrap this video up with a nice bow on it. So come on guys, let's get to jumping. So there you have it guys. Do I recommend this setup? Absolutely. There's a couple of downsides to it. We're gonna get right off the bat. It is a tight fit with the shifter up here because there's not much real estate to work with on your handlebars. So it does work, but it is a little bit of a tight fit. The uh, 
For a hundred bucks though, I feel like you absolutely can't go wrong with this. It's got an additional gear. The lowest gear is 5% lower, so you get additional climbing capabilities. You have the derailleur clutch, which keeps the chain from slapping around, almost eliminating all the noise from the chain on these bikes. However, there does still get a little bit of noise if you hit a really big bump. Almost all of the noise has been eliminated. I especially notice going on curves or anytime you rapidly change elevation, if you're going up bumps or in a bumpy terrain, you're not hearing the chain slap around all over the place. So hopefully that comes across in the video. But guys, if you are interested in doing this, it, takes, it took me about an hour and a half or so to do the install. Um, the parts were about a hundred bucks. So well worth it if you ask me. I am not a fan of that Shimano Tourney derailleur at all. But anyways, guys, if you have any questions, put them down in the comments. As always, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.